Hey guys, what's up? Shadowlands back for another review. Today I wanted to do the Hauser's RPG 7, one of the latest set items to get released. We finally have a Hauser's weapon. We have a couple actually. There's also a machine gun in the set, but this RPG 7 is available for permanent for 20k and X, which is really, really cool. It's one of the only RPG, you know, type explosive launchers to ever be sold for perm. The Autumn Law has been sold for perm before, obviously, and the RPG has been on for sale. I believe it was 100k GP it was on for, but anyway, now we have the other side of the Law series. We have the RPG, the other big favorite launcher from the game. So, without any further ado, let's dive right into the stats. I put them up at the beginning of the video, but in case you didn't read them, the Hauser has a damage of 75, portability of 50, accuracy of 100, like the regular Law, regular RPG, and a recoil of 55. So, the recoil doesn't really matter. It's a launcher. You only get one shot. There are three shots total. The only launcher, I believe, besides the XM25 to have over the three shots, I believe, is the MZP1, which has, I believe, five, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, very, very high damage weapon, similar to the Autumn Law. It's right up there with that 75 damage. The splash damage is much, much higher, which is really, really good, which means even if they're further away from it, it's more likely to be a one-shot kill, making this weapon less similar to the regular RPG-7 and much more similar to the one you get as a Super Spy, where it's almost always a one-shot kill. Now, in this video, you'll see that at, you know, some ranges of the splash, it's not going to be a one-shot kill, but if you're fairly close to them or you land it dead on, chances are, like 90% chance, it's going to be a one-shot kill kill. Keep in mind, explosive damage doesn't care what kind of vest you're wearing, so it doesn't matter if they're wearing a tanker or whatever, it's going to do the same amount of damage whatever you do, just like knifing. That AP damage that you get uh, for like tanking and stuff only counts towards bullets, it does not count towards explosives or anything else, so just keep that in mind. Overall, it's a really, really nice weapon, I like using it, it's tons of fun. And the way I would suggest you use it is get a good fast firing pistol that has, you know, a fair amount of damage so that any leftover damage you didn't do with the RPG, you can cover with the pistol. And you would want to usually lead with the RPG and follow up with the pistol as I do many times in this video. Now, you'll see that I'm kind of screwing around in the video a lot with the RPG, pulling a lot of parkour stuff. I put over some interesting text here because that's exactly what I was thinking while I was playing the game. I'm kind of cocky as you guys can see, but overall, it's a really nice weapon. Would I recommend getting it? Absolutely, especially if you haven't gotten an explosive for permanent. Um, would I really suggest this over the Autumn Law? They're the exact same. I've gotten that question a couple of times already, and honestly, they're the exact same. But that's about all I can really say for the weapon, guys. I definitely recommend it. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Shadowlands, out.